All right, y'all, we're back out here messing with the houseboat again. I, uh, today, let's see, today's Thursday, February the 11th, and, uh, I put in yesterday, when I went to work yesterday, I put in for taking the day off, give me a nice long weekend. It's supposed to rain some this weekend, but uh, I'm gonna try to take advantage of, uh, the weather today and, uh, grind out these spots that, for some reason, didn't take resin last time grind those out patch those then get up on that other side over there grind all that side down over there fiberglass it in and then get on top of this deck and start sanding it smooth sanding up any little fiberglass splinters and uh prepping it for laying the layers going front and back i've already got the layers left and right so that's what i'm doing i'm going to be using this and uh to grind this stuff out so here we go all right i got the pieces sanded out that was not absorbing the the resin there's little air pockets here and there but i ain't worried about it i'm pretty much polishing a turd y'all <laughs> so, so i'm building a timex not a rolex here so so uh but it's smooth to the touch and uh so now i'm fixing to make cut the uh, pieces out for patching it and I'm gonna give the whole thing from front to back and over and over the top of hair a resin paint job so that's what I'm fixing to do now the Sun is out and shining so I think it's gonna be a good day all right y'all I got it sanded the width of a fiberglass roll from this starboard side edge just past the center to just past the the width of a fiberglass roll so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this fiberglass roll in half and i'm going to uh, put the fiberglass patches on the side that i need to and i'm going to just paint this whole side with fiberglass resin again just to kind of like seal it i guess you could say then i'm going to hop up here going to have my buckets ready with resin and several buckets and I'm going to paint out whatever whatever uh, half of this roll ends up being. I'm going to paint out just slightly wider than one half of this roll and start rolling it out as I go. Uh, um, rolling the resin into the cloth and wetting it out until I get from one end to the other. And then uh, I guess I'll let that dry, take me a little break, then start on the next one. My goal is to get like half the roof done today. So if I use this whole roll, it'll be just a little bit more than half the roof. And then I can get out here tomorrow, sand this other side, sand this other side, uh, lay fiberglass on this other side, and then sand the roof from here over to wherever this fiberglass roll ends at. So, I don't know if you followed all that. <laughs> I'm up here babbling. It's hot out here, y'all. It's damn February in Florida. And this, this damn weather is hot. I tell you, I hate living in Florida. Born and raised here, but I hate it. I'd rather live up north somewhere. But, uh, all right. Enough of me complaining. I'm going to get to it. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Come down off the houseboat to get a drink. Look who's being a lazy fat piggy out in the yard. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Why don't you lay in the shade? Why are you laying in the sun? Crazy piggy. Alright, got my fiberglass strips cut for the the messed up spots. Got my resin in a little cup, paintbrush. Got my hardener ready to go. My mixing drill, rubber gloves. Fixing to uh, wet it out, start putting it on. All right, we did it. One into the other. Got uh, fiberglass laid down in the crack where for some reason or other it wasn't absorbing resin. Got uh, four patch panels somewhere along the way. And uh, they all absorb the resin like they're supposed to. Got, I painted over the top about three inches or so. And uh, all right hot out here i think i'm gonna go in get some iced tea cool off a little bit then hop up on the roof 
and uh, start getting my buckets and everything ready for laying the fiberglass out past the midway point from front to back. When I get that done, I'll probably call it a day and do the other part tomorrow. All right, y'all. Got everything laid out. Got uh, the uh, roll is 50 inches wide. I cut it in half, so 25 and 25. What I did is I went out um, 27 inches, did a line from front to back, then another uh, 27 inches line front to back. So I'll be wetting out to the 27 inch mark but the fiberglass is only 25 inch wide so I'm wetting out a little more than what I need but uh got paint tray with the disposable liners got a bunch of disposable liners empty buckets got four buckets with resin already in them got my fiberglass roll ready for me to wet out this deck and then lift the roll over here square it up and start rolling it out wetting it out got my rubber gloves mek my mixing drill uh, everything looks good and check out what i've done for myself to reward myself when i get to the end of the first run bam i win a beer uh, the incentive is to drink a cold beer and it's hot out here so i need to hurry up and get down here where this beer don't get hot then I got to jump over here on this one come all the way down this way and get to this beer so that beer don't get hot so y'all wish me luck because I really want to drink this beer well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news good news is I want a beer it's delicious the bad news is I pulled a little bit too much over the front, which made me short on the back. So that's the first bit of bad news. Second bit of bad news, look at this. There's another strip that uh, is not absorbing the resin. I don't know why it does that. Some chemical on it or something from the factory. But that is going to have to be ground out just like the size anyway I'm gonna enjoy this frosty adult beverage and uh, oh by the way I did it in one bucket I had 40 ounces of resin in that bucket and uh, it used every last drop so I think I'm gonna put 45 ounces of resin in the next bucket for wetting out this piece and I should be golden so all right I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beer and then get on strip number two. Thank you. Figured out the mystery of the fiberglass cloth that won't absorb the resin. I seen this glistening in the sun. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like clear tape. And I've tried peeling it and it don't act like it wants to come off. And even if it did, it would probably screw up the, the cloth and probably leave a sticky residue on it that probably would make it where it don't absorb resin anyway. So, I'm gonna hang it off the front on this next uh, pass and uh, roll it out and it'll end up getting cut off when I do all the finish sanding and crap. All right, here I go. Well, well, got the other strip in. And I don't know what is wrong with my highly calibrated eyeballs, but I come up about three inches short on this end again. So, I don't know. Anyway, I ain't too much worried about it. Got it down. I want a second beer for my efforts. And uh, I'm fixing to drink this thing, clean up, call it a day, go take a shower. So, I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me. Uh, means a lot. Uh, my channel's been getting a lot of attention lately. I have no idea why. <laughs> so, but, uh, I appreciate y'all hanging in there and, and watching this silly stuff I do. Fumble my way through life. So, uh, until next time, which is tomorrow, actually. So, <laughs> y'all have a good one.